tuning in. I am joining a collab with Ingrid from Mommy and Mia Homeschool Chronicles. I often join collabs with her. We've known each other for years. She has a YouTube channel here, so check her out. I'm going to link her video or and her channel down below. She is also the creator of a YouTube um, group on Facebook. It's called YouTube Collaborators, so check that out as well. And so we often get together and do um, collaborations like these. So she put out a Q&A for Thanksgiving. I have to answer five questions, and I have them right here. Hold on, I, got, I picked the wrong thing. And I got my coffee, woohoo. Um, all right, so let's see. The first question is, in your opinion, what is the most popular Thanksgiving side dish? So in my opinion, I always, well, hands down, mashed potatoes or potato salad. But um, the one that I really like the last two years has been the green bean casserole. I just started doing it and I'm in love. Um, so yeah, hands down, those I would say are my favorite. But in my opinion, the most popular, I think everybody has mashed potatoes or potato salad. Okay, um, what is a typical Thanksgiving dinner in your family? So, so what it looks like in my house. Um, we always have turkey we do the turkey we do arroz con gandules and that's a puerto rican rice um it's made with pigeon peas uh, that's a very popular puerto rican rice um we have our potato salad and we make it with like eggs and mayonnaise it's so good um well, like boiled eggs um we have stuffing is like with mashed plantains it's like this awesome mofongo stuffing and mofongo i have no words of how to explain that in english <laughs> but it's it's like um a traditional uh dish in, in puerto rico where you mash the plantains and it has like bacon bits oh my gosh it's so good you guys so um that's stuffed in the bird and uh we always have uh like cornbread now we we do some american dishes like cornbread and green bean salad um, green bean casserole so yeah that's what my traditional Thanksgiving looks like we're not a cranberry sauce kind of people we do do gravy for our Thanksgiving um, and I'm editing this in because I forgot my husband ordered pasteles pasteles is also a traditional Puerto Rican dish side dish but it's like with made with plantains as well and it has meat inside like pork or chicken and it's just so good and it's something that is done over the holidays because it takes so much work to do so the women and well the women and men because men do it too when they get together to do this they do big batches and they sell it so my husband you know ordered some from his job and uh, so we're gonna have some pateles for thanksgiving and i forgot dessert you guys hello some flan i love pumpkin flan oh my gosh it's so good um and we also love like sweet potato uh pies or pumpkin pies and all that mm -hmm. good stuff and that's pretty much it yeah okay next question what are some of your tread uh thanksgiving traditions so i just love doing crafts for my kids i love doing activities with them like right now we have our morning basket so that became like my um thanksgiving activities and games that i involve that i'm doing with them I do decorate um, like two, three weeks before Thanksgiving, like pumpkins. I love having pumpkins. Um, and one of my favorite traditions is to do pumpkin picking with the boys. Um, and our books, we love reading the same books around the same season. So um, yeah, so the books that we already read, we're gonna put them away until next year. And it kind of feel, feels new all over again. And we always do a questionnaire. Uh, we have like this, little questionnaire that I get from online where the kids get to uh, answer what animal you're thankful for, what toy you're thankful for, what um, food are you thankful for, and stuff like that. So that's a really cute questionnaire we do every year. And I also just started this year like a little conversation starter for the table, so that should be nice, and I would love that to be like a tradition for us every year to have this conversation starters at our table so oh and our thankful journals and this is something that we do um, every year since last year we use these blank books from Target and we fill them up with things that we're thankful for number four list three of your Thanksgiving favorites either decor recipes fashion um, I don't know that uh, pumpkin spice is that considered like Thanksgiving right anything pumpkin spice oh my gosh 
Thanksgiving favorite. I think I talked about a little bit of that with my traditions. Oh. I um, do this do this um, with my brother. Right after Thanksgiving, we get together, like a day after or two days after, and we do leftover um, turkey sandwiches. And that's like a tradition for us to do it. My husband throws down when it comes to sandwiches. He is a sandwich king. So my brother is like, this is our tradition. We, get, we need to do this every year. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, after Thanksgiving, we get together like the day after or the two days after and we have that leftover thanksgiving turkey sandwiches they're so good um so yeah so that's a tradition that we do every year um and i don't know what else let's see decor well my favorite is this banner here i love this banner it's from target from last year i also love um this frame right here on the wall it says thankful and also from target last year and then this year I added some like um, of those little cursive script things that they had. So I have this one that says family and I also love this one that says grateful. Well, in the beginning of the video you saw some of the decor downstairs. So I love doing that too, decorating the school room. Okay, um, number five. Besides God, your family and friends, what are other three other things that you're thankful for? I would say you guys I'm so thankful for the community here on YouTube. It is amazing. You guys keep my spirits up and you're so sweet. I have never had, and I will want to say this, um, keep it in mind that it can happen. But for the most part, the comments are amazing. I've never had horrible comments. And, um, and so I love the community here. I love my channel. I love being part of this community here on YouTube. So I'm thankful for you guys that are watching. Uh, and my faithful watchers, thank you so much. Um, and I'm also thankful for um, my home. I'm just so grateful that I have a space of my own. Um, even though my home is small, I'm just grateful that I have a space for my own, that I can homeschool my kids, and that I can be free, you know, and just be at peace, really. With that, I'll say I'm thankful for my neighbors and my neighborhood, and I just love the peace that comes with living here because my neighbors are just like, oh my gosh, I got something for my neighbor today she makes um this amazing eggplant parm and she knows how much i love her eggplant parm so she gave me some this morning i just love the the sweetness and the warmth that comes from my neighbors i love them so much so yeah i'm grateful for my neighbors and my church family that's included in family because they're like my number one i love my church family so much what else am I thankful for? Um, and I'll say something silly like coffee. Can I say just say I'm thankful for coffee? Like I just love coffee so much. That's it. <laughs> See, I'm drinking coffee. And this is from my mug from my sweet friend April from A Simple Rugged Path. She sent it to me. Yay. Um, and it actually did crack April. Yes, I know, I know. But I totally took care of it and it's gonna live. It's gonna live more years to come. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so those are the questions. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and staying here and being part of my boy bus mama. I'm a homeschool mom of three boys. It's always loud and chaotic here, and because I have a small home, they're always on top of me. And right now, my little guy is sleeping back there, so yay, I got a chance to talk to you guys in peace for a little bit, but they're always somehow in my videos for the most part, unless I do them at nighttime. So yeah, so please consider subscribing. Thank you, Ingrid, for hosting this collab. I I love Thanksgiving so much it's like right up there with Christmas so this is a sweet time of the year oh I do want to say that there is a playlist of mamas uh, that are joining there's a bunch of mamas so you have more questions to hear answers from um, so I cannot wait to see myself I love hearing uh, people's traditions and what they do and what they love to eat so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one